Hi, welcome to Low Carb Cocktails. I'm Frank. Today we'll be making a savory whiskey smash. But before we get started, if you'd like to learn more about making cocktails low carb and keto friendly, go ahead and click the little subscribe button and click the bell icon and you'll be notified every time I put a new video out. So let's get started. Smash is pretty simple. It's just gonna be spirit, a fruit, an herb, and a sweetener. So first, let's go ahead and start with our fruit. We'll be using a lemon. What you can do is you're gonna cut your lemon into wedges or quarters. And we'll be using three wedges. I'm gonna drop that into the smaller tin. All right, so that's that. Now we're gonna model those. So let's go ahead and start with this. Let's get this modeled really good. And this will normally produce about, you know, just under a half ounce of uh, lemon juice. But muddling it by hitting those tops of those skins, you're releasing some of the oils off those lemon skins as well. All right, there's that. Next what we're gonna do, we're gonna do three quarter ounce of a simple syrup. This is Monin's sugar-free sweetener. And there's zero net carbs in this. There is a what, I think uh, one, one gram of carbs, but it is uh, erythritol, so net carb zero. So we have our lemons, we have our sweetener. Next we're gonna go with some mint leaves. And I'm not gonna muddle these up like I normally would, because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the ice to kind of bash them around a little bit. Depending on your mint leaf size, um, if you got large mint leaves, maybe only need about five or six Smaller mint leaves like I got right now, probably use maybe uh, eight to 10. All right, and that's it. Now for whiskey, I finally found a Louisiana whiskey I can stand behind. Uh, it's taken me a very long time. I've tried a bunch of different whiskeys that have kind of been put out through um, Louisiana distillers. Really not been like screaming praises of any of them yet until I've tried um, Irish Channel Whiskey by 7-3 Distilling. So if you can get your hands on some of this, this is some great stuff. Um, I'm kind of waiting to hear back from them. I don't know if it's a, a high corn mash, high rye mash, or blend. It doesn't specify it on here. It just says uh, uh, Irish American uh, whiskey. Uh, made in New Orleans. So I said, I'm just blending whiskey, whatever the hell it is, it's actually a very good whiskey in my opinion. I'm not a whiskey connoisseur, just a dude who likes to drink out of his kitchen. But I do find that this so far has been the best whiskey i found produced in Louisiana. So we have two ounces of our whiskey. And there is two. Now, the savory part, because I said this is going to be a savory whiskey smash. Um, come across this, Cajun 180 seasoning. Um, this is absolutely delicious stuff. Um, what I like about it a lot, it's that Cajun flavor without, without being hot. A lot of people think when you think Cajun food, it's spicy and it's hot. Hot's not a flavor. Um, this is very, very flavorful. Um, really enjoy this. So it's, it's getting all those Cajun flavors that you like that without all the pepper. Um, you know, I talked to him, it's like 34,000 Scoville units, um, which is pretty mild compared to all the peppers. I think it's like one of, one of if not the lowest on a Scoville meter you can get for peppers. But anyway, I'm gonna do two pinches. One and two. Let me put that up. All right, we're gonna fill the other tin with some ice. Tap this off and give it a good shake. All right, now you wanna shake it a little bit longer than normal, uh, mainly because the mint's not muddled, so we're using that uh, ice to kind of take care of the muddling on the mint. And we also put a uh, powdered seasoning in there and we kind of want to dissolve it as much as we can. Okay, now from here, let's get ourselves a rocks glass. And put some fresh ice in it. And we'll go ahead and strain this into our rocks glass. 
And that's how you have some little mint pieces come out. A little bit of the seasoning comes out too. That's fine. Now we're gonna garnish that with that last piece of lemon and a nice sprig of mint. So there we have it guys, the savory whiskey smash. So yeah, we're gonna taste this. So, mm. man, that's absolutely delicious. That, that seasoning, that, that Cajun 180 seasoning really, really balances out the sweet, the sour, the mint, um, the herb. It gives that nice little pepper on the back of the throat. Uh, it's not spicy, uh, but it's very flavorful. It's, it's a nice, bold, bold flavor. It's hard to explain, guys. Just try this. I'm not a paid affiliate from um, Irish Channel Whiskey at 7.3 Distilling or 180 Blends Cajun Seasoning. Um, but I will tell you, if you want to try it just like this, ask your liquor store if um, they can order this. And I think Cajun 180 Seasoning. I don't know if this in the stores yet. I don't believe it is. I think it's an online only. So, but it's, what I like about it, it's like beautiful, bold Cajun flavors. Like I said in the beginning, hot's not a flavor. That's not what Cajun food's about. Cajun food's about bold, bold flavors. Um, and that's what that seasoning brings to this cocktail. So you get that little sweet, little sour, a little fresh mint, and then that just boldness of that seasoning. We have the savory whiskey smash. All right guys, thank y'all for watching. Y'all have a great day, because when this is done, I'll be having a great day too.